Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Good Times. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Good Times is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Good Times. Johnny Brown was born in 1937 in a sitcom he plays Nathan Bookman. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38 and sadly passed away on March 2, 2022, at the age of 84. That's probably the social workers that's asking all those questions. Oh, listen, you know, I'd like to help Miss Woods. I mean, we don't get along and everything, but hey, if she wants that kid, I'm all... Um, keeping him on the right path. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's fallen to the traps of the world. Right. Yeah. yeah. Bernadette Dennis was born in 1953. In the sitcom, she plays Thelma Evans. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 21, and now she's 70 years old. Dad, I'm so glad you brought Mama here. Me too, baby girl. Now look here, that woman in there had a TV. I'm going downstairs, she can order one for your mother. Okay. Good. She made us come. You know, we did the show in Hollywood uh -huh. mm -hmm. on a set. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so I tried to make it look just like the, sh the, um, the, the apartment. Yeah. And being that... Jeanette Dubois was born in 1932. In the sitcom, she played with Lona Woods. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 42. And sadly, she passed away on February 17, 2020, at the age of 88. <laughs> Fortunate enough to be as young as your father, honey. I'm still in the Pepsi generation, and I intend to keep those flip tops popping till the day I die. Can you believe it? I have any other place in the world. It's a school. You come in for 10 days a year and see the world. We don't have to go anywhere. They Janet Jackson was born in 1966. In the sitcom, she plays Millicent Penny Woods. In 1977, when she was in the sitcom, she was 11 years old, and now she's 57 years old. We're supposed to sleep in her room tonight. And then JJ threw the boyfriend out, and that made Thelma real mad at JJ, because he's not a father. And then Rhino... Drinking age, I think, is 18, 19 in Minneapolis. So we went out one night, and, and uh, they gave me some ice cream. I think it's a, called Brandy Alexander Ice Cream. Esther Rowe was born in 1920. In the sitcom, she played Florida Evans. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 54, and sadly she passed away on November 17, 1998, at 78. ...wives, relatives, and good friends, and it's far worse with blacks than with whites, which means we ain't gonna have to worry about tomorrow, because we are killing it. You try to change it as much as you can, and to give yourself some kind of... Ralph Carter was born in 1961. In the sitcom, he plays Michael Evans. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 13 years old, and now he's 62. What kind of club will we be if we let everybody push us around? That's what we stand for, black pride. If you come down on the guy wearing one of these jackets, you're coming down on... And another one entitled The Car Marks Play. So Gawk and I had a wonderful bond, and he wrote some of the most beautiful music I've ever experienced in musicals. John Amos was born in 1939. In the sitcom, he played James Evans Sr. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35, and now he's 84. That's a father's job. Oh, now, wait a minute. You're the one always telling me a woman can do anything a man can do. Well, I was wrong. There ain't a woman... Writers just, they said, we can't deal with this anymore. And Norman called me up one day. We were on hiatus. And he said, uh, uh, his secretary... Jimmy J.J. Walker was born in 1947. In the sitcom, he played James Evan Jr. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 27, and now he's 76. I mean, they're gonna be uptight if they have to go a whole month without kid dynamite! Everybody is perfect. There is no comedy. And that's where I think people have found the problem in doing comedies now. Raymond Allen was born in 1929. 
In the sitcom he played Nat the Wino. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45 and sadly passed away on August 10, 2020 at 91. Make it eight the hard way? It was a six. <laughs> all right, all right. So I was playing a little friendly game of crap. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Except that you had two other... Teddy Wilson was born in 1943. In the sitcom, he played Sweet Daddy Williams. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 33 years old and sadly passed away on July 21st, 1991, at the age of 47. No, JJ. Hey, yes. Oh. <laughs> now look, you old Sweet Daddy baby and he expects to be paid. Moses Gunn was born in 1929. In the sitcom, he plays Carl Dixon. In 1977, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48 and sadly passed away on December 16, 1993, at 64. It's easy. It's raising them that's impossible. <laughs> I got a feeling JJ was the toughest. Well, we had a... Ben Powers was born in 1950. In the sitcom, he plays Keith Anderson. In 1978, when he was in the sitcom, he was 28 and sadly passed away on April 6, 2015, at 64. Keith, you know, the doctors could be wrong. Those were two of the best orthopedic surgeons in the world, and they both agreed it'd be murder if I tried playing football again. Oh, Keith, get... Helen Martin was born in 1909. In the sitcom, she plays Whipping Wanda Williams. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 65, and sadly she passed away on March 25, 2000, at 90 years old. When we reflect on the incredible journey of good times that took place between 1974 and 1979, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.